Joining us here on BoobTube, I'm Tara Gupta. And I'm Lucy Shen. Let the countdown begin. Three days of school left until Thanksgiving break! Which means half of you already left yesterday. This year, Thanksgiving and Hanukkah fall on the same day. So bring out the Minerkies. Well, this hasn't happened since 1888. Back when Van Gogh still had both his ears. And it won't happen again for another 70,000 years. Not that anyone cares what happens in 70,000 years, so let's find out what's happening at Wolseley right now. Like every other year, the holidays coincide with cold and flu season. Yeah, my last night on the town was going to CVS to buy cough drops. To help you figure out just how miserable you'll be this week, Kleenex launched a new flu prediction website called MyAchu.com. According to MyAchu's forecast, Wellesley students will be sick this week, next week, and the week after. To help combat the cold pandemic, Health Services is now selling six swag bags for $15. Despite what it might sound like, six swag bags are not actually Justin Bieber's new line of condoms. They include throat gargles, cough drops, tissues, and even a thermometer. Pretty much everything you need to get you through the finals week. Here's an important PSA for anyone leaving campus over Thanksgiving break. Stock up on tokens. Don't let a token shortage come between you and your turkey. Listen up, first years. This next segment can help you save time and avoid stress while traveling home. Our intrepid explorer, Allie, is out in Boston to help us figure out the best way to get home for the holidays. So, Allie, what's your game plan? Many of Wellesley's students can find it hard to get home for the holidays. Boston's public transportation system can be brutal. I'm here to show you how to get out of Boston and back home before your turkey gets cold. Well, based on my knowledge of other cities like New York, Chicago, and San Francisco, you'll need to identify the main arteries of the city to figure out where you are on the grid. From these sufficiently wide, centrally located streets, you can navigate all the nooks and crannies of the city. But to cut down on your travel time, you're going to want to use the T. The red line from Harvard will get you to South Station as long as you get on the train in the right direction. There you can transfer to the Silver Line, straight to the airport. Now there will be times when you misread the map and end up getting off on that one station past Park Street and transferring onto the Orange Line. This is a completely common occurrence. Just keep a positive attitude, swallow your pride, and ask for directions. Who cares if the locals laugh? Who cares if your plane is leaving in 40 minutes? It's all about the journey. In reality, there is no easy way to get around Boston. This city makes no sense. You're better off just taking the Senate bus. Back to you in the studio. Thank God for the Senate bus. First year is rest assured over Thanksgiving break, the Peter Pan shuttle takes you directly to South Station and the airport. And now on to our political update. Looks like Philadelphia has passed a bill granting more legal rights to the LGBTQ community. The bill includes health care protection and decision-making rights to same-sex and trans couples. It also requires buildings to have gender-neutral bathrooms. At Wellesley, we've had gender-neutral bathrooms for years. The rest of the country needs to get with the program. Um... Our writers put a shit joke in here, but... Not another shit joke! <laughs> yeah, moving on. In the Senate, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, ENDA, just passed with bipartisan support. The bill will make it illegal for employers to use sexual orientation or gender identity in firing or hiring positions. That is shocking. What, workplace equality? No, the fact that our government's actually getting shit done. Really? Another shit joke? In a student poll earlier this year, Professor Armstrong of the writing department was voted the most hipster professor at Wellesley. Celebrity reporter Oleander has an exclusive interview with Dr. Armstrong about this prestigious title. After he vehemently denied my suggestion to meet at Starbucks, citing a preference for patronizing local establishments, I'm here at El Table with Dr. Justin Armstrong. So, do you self-identify as a hipster? No, not really. I'm not into labels. Could you possibly tell us what you're wearing right now? I mean, it's nothing special. Flannel shirts and a uh, cardigan and a tie, some jeans and boots. I see some ink sticking out. Can you possibly tell us about that? It's the Canadian wheat board. It, it keeps me connected to Canada and where I'm from. My parents are, are hippies, so, uh, you know, we lived in the woods. Hippie, hipster. I think I see where you're going, but I, I like I said, those are all labels. You look like someone who walked straight out of an H&M catalog. I admit, I shop at H&M. Actually, while we're here, do you think we could maybe stop by the student aid closet? It has a real kind of Pacific, Northwest kind of 
Haida vibe. Can you possibly tell us a bit about your research? Well, I started out studying uh, graffiti and street art in New York City. And then I moved on to another project that looks at ghost towns. Would you consider those mainstream topics? Not really, no. Really? Mm. Oh, okay. Does this go with my cardigan? Not at all. What do your hobbies include? I like home brewing. Um, I'm really into silk screening. Hipster! I do none of those things. How did you arrive here today? Oh, I, I came on my bike. Um, it's something that uh, I found it actually this little flea market in Copenhagen. A hipster in the rough. Is there like a hipster way to say thank you? No. Well then, thank you, Oleander, and thank you, Professor Armstrong. Well, the holiday season is coming up, and we're curious to hear about your favorite traditions. What do you like on Thanksgiving dinner? Give us a call at 555-1010. Oh, yep, there we go. First caller. Hi, hello. Classic Thanksgiving at my house. I like Rocky Mountain oysters. I like my turkey with bacon. I love the show. Bye. That is so creative. My mouth is watering just, like, thinking about that. Oh, and we have another caller. Hello? 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 Who is this? Tara, are you on the television phone? Oh, oh, I see you. I see you on TV. Can you hear me? Shut up, Hank. I'm on the phone. Hang on. Let me get my glasses. Hello, Aunt Peggy. How are you? Um, I am on air right now. Um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Huh? What? You have a giving dish? Well, good for you. How's college? All of you young girls running around learning... Not getting pregnant like those it's, girls on the MTV. It's good, Aunt Peggy. College is good. Uh, is Thanksgiving at your house again this year? Oh, of course, honey. I've already got the Pictionary teams lined up. Your mother tells me you're you're a vegan now. Is that is that like being a lesbian? Honey, I don't judge. It's fine. You're young. I've been in the 60s. Experiment. Yeah, uh, it's vegan. I. It means you don't eat meat or animal products. For moral reasons? Well, that's okay. We'll have chicken for you. You know, before my Zumba class today, I was looking at your your MyFace page, whatever it's called, and there's just all these photos of your friends. I hope they're not smoking the marijuana. Well, they seem like nice girls and all, but I hope you never cut your hair that short. And on that note, thank you, Aunt Peggy. A different perspective is always nice to hear. Bye, girls. Bye. Uh, next, we turn to our panel of experts who will tackle the issue of East versus West campus loyalties. In this week's debate, we're discussing the long-standing rivalry between East and West Campus. With us today, we have Sarah, a third-year Bates resident, and Stephanie, who's lived in both Tower and Pomeroy. Why don't you list some perks of your side of campus? We have easy access to the Ville and to the Science Center, spacious rooms, plus we're close to the Chapel bus stop, so we don't have to worry about the bus being full of the Lulu. Wow, I didn't realize you guys went off campus. As for the perks of West Side, there are just too many for me to count. I love the beautiful historic dorms. It's also nice to be right near the campus center, what with the pub being the only place to buy alcohol for miles around. I do love a good pub night, but it's easy to get sweaty when you're dancing up a storm in the pub. And speaking of which, I'm surprised that you managed to stay so clean, Stephanie. What with all those horrible showers you have? All right, now let's try something a little different. Why don't you each tell me a few drawbacks? I might have to go with the large closet size. I just don't know what to do with all that space. I'd probably have to go with the lake view. <laughs> it can be so distracting, and sometimes before I know it, I've spent an entire afternoon Instagramming the view from my window. You never see Instas at East Campus. Okay, uh, let's go to, um... Think None of, of this even matters. West side, best side. East side is the beast side. West best. East beast. West best. East beast. West best. All right, now back to the studios. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining us here on BoobTube. Enjoy your Thanksgiving break and stay pretty. <laughs> What's on the boot?
Sound Review.